Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an ESC or electronic speed controller with a wired remote for use with your trolling motor on a kayak. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to go over the main electrical components that I'm going to be using in this project. First I want to start off by saying thanks to Bassman Strikes who put out a YouTube video on how to build an ESC and I got a lot of useful information from him so I will include a link to his video in the narrative section. So starting off first you have your servo controller for the ESC and you see these three clear areas which are LEDs and they're the mode that this runs in. One is manual, neutral, and auto. The only one you're going to run on this is the manual. So that's the only one you need to worry about and it'll light up as you press this switch that's inside and it rotates through. And then this side here for a connector, that's for a power input. You don't have to worry about that because you're using your ESC. And here you have three different sets of pins which are for three different outputs and you're only concerned with one. So just choose any of these three across. But when you do that, make sure that the negative or black wire in your connector matches up with the negative sign here on this controller and you'll be okay. Next are these XT90 connectors and they work really really well and they're high capacity and you see you have a male and a female so you can get those as well. Then you have these five connector waterproof conduits and you have five different colored wires in here. So when you do your project and you can see that you can make them in different sizes and they connect together and it's a waterproof connection. But when you decide to wire them, make sure that you make a little note somewhere like I did when you hook up the wirings that you match up the colors and write it down so you don't get confused when you get to this end trying to connect everything together. And then the last piece here is this two connector on off switch. This is the ESC I'm going to be using in this project. It is a hobby wing quick run 880 brushed ESC and it's about one and three quarters by one and a quarter inches in dimensions which makes it pretty easy to put in a small box for use with your trolling motor. Now it also has this connection here which goes to your servo or your pot controller your on off switch and your input power from your lipo battery which is the same as red is positive black is negative and then because it runs two motors it has two sets of positive and negative inputs the two yellow are the positive and the two blue are the negative now you can go ahead and connect them together and then connect them to the positive and negative of your trolling motor for use and it also comes with this fan here this also connects into the little port that you did your programming with but I'm not going to be using it for this project this is where I'm going to program my ESC and it's not as complicated as I first thought so it's actually relatively easy so with your ESC you get this programmable items guide and the shaded boxes are the defaults that come with your ESC and the only ones I'm going to be concerned with changing are this programmable items column here and number one and I'm going to go over to option three and go to forward and reverse then I'm going to go to item number six which is max reverse force and I'm going to go up to 75% and then finally, I'm going to go to the neutral range, which is your center detent area between forward and reverse, and I'm going to move it up to option number six. I'm going to program the new values into my ESC. I have it powered up here, and I have my program card here with the connector on this side here for the programming of the ESC. 
And then there's also the three prong connector inside the ESC. And when you connect it, make sure that the black wire faces the outside of the ESC. Now I'm just going to turn it on. And you see your values come up. So I want to set item number one to three. So I'm going to go to the value. Now I have one set at three. I'm going to say OK. My next change, I'm going to go to item number six and check that to three. OK. And then my last one, I'm going to go to item 11 and change that to six. And say OK. And now everything is programmed. This is what the exterior of the box looks like when it's closed up. So what I'm going to do first is take off the lid here. And what I've done in here is put my wiring diagram. So I know that if I ever have to change anything or do some rewiring, I know what connects to what between the ESC and the five pin connector. And I'll also keep it written down somewhere else. But this is just a handy little way to remember it. So what I have inside here is the ESC and I waited until I did all the wiring before I placed it and I have it in there mounted with double stick VHB tape which is very strong. And then you can see here I have my two blues which are the negatives and my two yellows which are the positive which go to the motor. And I also designated the motor with a little tab on the side here but also by using the white gland nut and going with the white gland nut I'm going to have this connector with a white piece of tape on it so you can further identify it but what I've also done is used different connectors this one is the female and the one that for the battery is a male connector, so there's no way they can be connected wrong. So for the battery connection here, which is also tagged on the side, I use the black gland nut, and then this will connect into the battery with the appropriate connector. And you can see I have my red and black from the ESC going to the power battery. And then what I also did was using the five pin waterproof connector, I disconnected the black and red from the on off switch and also disconnected the, or cut, however you want to say it, the three wires, the white, red, and black from the ESC. And then I went ahead and twisted them all together, soldered them, and then used marine shrink fit tubing on it so I have waterproof connections and then everything runs here to the wired remote and that's why I have the box like this so I know how everything is done. I wanted to give you a view of the inside of the remote box and how I have it set up. Right here this is the servo tester that I'm going to use and I've taken it out of its little plastic housing here and just put in the circuit board in here and then I did my splicing with the connector here and I'm going to use a different knob on here to make it hold in place along with some backing behind it to keep it in there and then up here is my switch this is the five conductor extension and connection that I'm going to be using and of course the gland nut to keep everything waterproof. Okay so I have my little test set up here. I've got my power source, my LiPo battery and I've got all my connections taped down just to make sure I don't have any accidents and all my power cords are fused and if you look to the left you will see the prop to the trolling motor I'm going to be testing. So let's go ahead and start out. I'm going to connect the power. And you're going to hear a series of beeps once I give it power. So just go ahead and wait for the beeps to stop. That means everything's ready to go.
And now that I have everything all hooked up and ready to go, I'll readjust my knob here to give me my true zero. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.